Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shea Bella here and today what I'll be showing you guys or what I will be doing for you guys is a night routine and um I've been lacking on this like I've been lacking on, I've been lacking <clears throat> on a lot of things. Um I disappeared <laughs> last week because I was dealing with midterms and now I'm on spring break but I'm still in my dorm room so I was like hey why not just shoot a video because I've been lacking so let me just catch up you know what I'm saying so um I'm just gonna do my normal night routine show you guys what products I use and without further ado let's just jump right into the video I was fighting some demons in the field bitch I'm deep in I was raising a deep in I know niggas be sinking take your bitch and go deep in but I give it back while you tweaking um, so the first product I'll be using is the Shea Live Black Soap for sensitive skin. I do have sensitive skin, so I'll be using this. Um, so here it looks like it got wiped off a little bit. So I just wet my face with warm water. I don't think call this. Like, I really don't know what you call it. I guess spring brush. I'm going to just say spring brush. So, I'm going to use this, and I'm going to just, like, rest it here. So, the brush could soak up most of the product. And when it looks like this, you know, you're, you're good to go. So, I'm going to just start here because I did have a little breakout for my wig because I did not clean my um forehead before I put it on the wig. I keep forgetting to clean my... um forehead before I lay on the wig and this is what causes um these bumps to pop up so if you have black soap in your life you don't really have to worry because it'll be gone in like the next day so I'm gonna just start here and then just work my way down So now I'm just gonna wash off this with um, cold water to close my pores. I don't know if anyone does this, but like I shower first and then brush my teeth. Some people normally brush their teeth first and then shower. Uh, let me know in the comment section below which one, which order do you do? Do you brush first, shower, and then? Well, yeah, you brush first, then shower, or shower, and then brush. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's see. Let's see who's going to win this feud. You know what I'm saying? So today, what I'll be doing for you guys is, I haven't done this in a while, so I said this is the perfect time to, like, do it. Um, what I will be using is the activated coconut charcoal powder, natural teeth whitening powder. So, let me show y'all my teeth now. It's like, it's white, but then it's yellow at the same time. So, it's like, mm -hmm, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see if it makes a difference. So, yeah, you could tell the difference. Let's see. I mean, the bottom teeth is still like yellow, but the top teeth is really like white. Like, this is my first time actually like seeing the like difference. After I do that, I will actually like regularly brush my teeth. Cause I only did that, I only did that method for like mm, two minutes. So I'm gonna just wash my. I'm gonna just brush my teeth with the regular toothpaste. Um, I use Colgate Max Fresh and Whitening Bread Strips Fresh Freshness that lasts for hours. Um, Clear Mint. I have a flavor Clear Mint. So, I got this water toothpaste. Oh. Humphreys Certified Organic Witch Hazel 
um 100% natural for face and body um gentle cleansing and non-drying so this is how it looks let me tell y'all something i use this product for almost everything i use it to get rid of my pimples I get I use it to wipe off like my access makeup I use it to take off my wig sometimes I'll use this and alcohol to take off my wig but mostly this like I just use it for anything like and I have sensitive skin so if you have sensitive skin I think that you will be just fine I'm not sure please don't listen to me like probably just test it out and if you if your face feels irritated just stop using it because that's what it says it says if your face feels irritated while using the product just stop using it um and yeah so what i'm gonna do is i just put a little bit let me do it again for y'all so y'all can see so i just put it on the the cotton round and i'm just gonna basically just like swat all over my face like my pimples the um irritated area this actually helps with um my irritated skin it helps ease the irritation so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna mainly start here. When I was rubbing my forehead, some of the makeup that I didn't get from washing my face came off. And then this is the other side where I like used on my face it's not as dirty but it's dirty i'm going to clean my nose piercing because i haven't cleaned it in a minute yes i know that sounds bad and it really is bad so i'm gonna just get right to it i just use i just use a q-tip um i wet one of the ends with cold water with cold water and i use my antibacterial hand soap with moisturizers it gently cleans and protects so that's what i use this is what the people when they pierce my nose this is the soap they recommended so i went out and got it um so i just like um put a little dab of soap on the, the tip and i wet it again just to make sure and what i do is i lift up you see how it's lift up i lift up and i just clean around the perimeter I'm sorry y'all my face look a mess like I haven't been taking care of it lately so if I'm up here and y'all seeing white heads and pimples all up in y'all face I'm so sorry um I don't clean it for long I just try to get like the white stuff around it like the dirty area I just clean around it and then I don't know if y'all can see but they have some stuff that came off um and then i just wet the other side and i just try to wipe off the access um soap so i don't have no dry soap around my nose and then i just go over how I clean my nose the last thing that I will be doing is my hair and then I'll moisturize my face after so I take my tea tree well let me read it first I take my tea tree herbal grow um grease but what happened is this is not like all the product that's in it sorry it looks a mess but I mix the tea tree or I mix the tea tree grease with like a lot of different oils like wild growth oil, um, coconut oil, a little bit of coconut oil. I don't really like coconut oil. Um, do grow oil, um, hair fertilizer, and I think that's it. I use this, I call this hair crack. Um, I put I put a, um, a little bit of people on to like what I use so like it could um, help with their hair growth and the results for them are really good the results for me are really good as well but i've been slacking like i said i'm 
I'm going to put a little bit of leave-in conditioner. I'm going to spray it like around my braids, um, on my braids, so my hair could be moisturized while when I put on my wig. So I'm going to just spray it a little bit. I'm not going to do it a lot. And spray the ends. Oh, and I'm using the Talia Wajid Pure and Natural Shea Cocoa Condition Daily Leave-In Conditioner. My last product that I'll be using for my night routine will be the lotion to moisturize my skin because I did use black soap and black soap is a little, like it dries out your skin a little bit, especially the um, the regular one. The sensitive one for my skin, it rarely does it, but it's still good to um, moisturize. So I'm going to use the non-greasy Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant Repair Cocoa Butter um, Vaseline Gel. This is how it looks. This one, this is the one I use. And I just use like a little bit on my face. Well, I use I use some first before I put it on my face on my hands. And then I moisturize. Put a little bit more. To get my whole face. And this concludes my video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy watching me do this night routine. Just let me know what you think about this night routine. If you if you are interested in using this one or using a little couple products from my night routine, um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And please stay tuned for my other videos. And please be sure to press the um bell button to be notified on whenever I post a new video and thanks for watching man. Bye.